Hello and welcome to NDTV Profit. You're watching IPO Adda and my company in focus today is MQ Pharmaceuticals. It's a company which, has, which is coming out with an IPO on July 3rd. Uh, price between 960 to 1008. Uh, it's a fresh issue of 800 crores and OFS of 1152 crores, taking the total IPO size to 1952 crores. And joining me today is Satish Mehta, who is the MD and CEO of the company, and Namita Thapar, who is the whole time director of the company. Uh, Mr. Mehta and Ms. Thapar, thank you very much for joining us. On on NDTV Profit. Uh, to begin with, uh, Mr. Mehta, uh, you're raising 800 crores in fresh uh, e equity. Uh, can you take us through what is the purpose of this 800 crores? No, so basically, as far as 800 crores are concerned, we are uh, raising this uh, money now for uh, reducing our debt. Uh, can you give us an idea of uh, what is the kind of borrowings on your balance sheet as of today? Uh, it's around, you know, on 31st of March, it was around, you know, ballpark figure of 1500 CR. Uh, so it's very much, you know, within the covenants, row, but at the same time, you want to reduce the rates. That's one of the uh, reason, you know, for raising 800 CR. Mm -hmm. um, Namita, uh, give us a sense of the kind of domestic market uh, you, uh, you, uh, you are operating in, which are the segments that you operate and which are the, you know, and in which, in each of the segments, what kind of, uh, you know, market share they, do you have? So Sajid, uh, as you know, the Indian pharma market is extremely progressive, going to go grow at 8 to 9 percent going forward as well. And MQ is in 19 therapeutic areas uh, with a pole position in Gynac. In fact, we have a 13 and a half percent market share, uh, which is about a 5 and a half percent lead over the next player. So uh, extremely strong in multiple segments, whether it's Gynac, cardio, HIV, um, you know, vitamins, uh, gastro, um, and definitely with a strong focus on women's health going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, give, give us also a sense of the kind of development uh, that you undertake uh, through R&D. Uh, because I was looking at, at your R&D expenses, uh, it's been coming down as percentage of sa uh, sales at 4.6% for FY24. Um, uh, is, was there, uh, is this an aberration or you will go back to the normal mean of 5-5.5% five, five that you've been doing for the last couple of years? Uh, Sachit, this question I will take. Uh, as far as the company is concerned, uh, I have built this company from scratch, you know, because I started this company in early 80s. I'm a graduate of IIM Ahmedabad, and I'm the only person who did not opt, you know, for any placement because I wanted to do something on my own. So while building this company and when I decided to market my formulations, you know, in mid-95, mid-90s, you know, 96, 97, at that time, I realized, you know, in a fragmented market, if I want to do well, in that case, you know, I must have differentiated products. So that's how, you know, uh, uh, this uh, research and development is very, very close to my heart. Incidentally, I'm also a postgraduate in organic chemistry. So the company has been built on uh, technology, uh, innovation, and uh, that's, that's the way, you know, we have gone about. So that's the reason my company has uh, given, you know, maximum number of new products, you know, whether it is chirality or for that matter, you know, biotech products or for that matter, you know, iron preparations. So uh, this is something, you know, that we'll continue doing. And that's the reason as far as R&D is concerned, we'll keep on spending. And uh, there, uh, four and a half to 5%, that's the range, you know, we'll continue doing, you know, going forward.